In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a coupon code for a user at the time of purchase. We'll start with the home screen and a list of items that can be purchased. We'll select the soccer ball, and you'll see a detailed screen here with the item, the information, and a place to purchase the item. If your user has a coupon code, I've made this a very large button for the purpose of this tutorial, but you could have this be a small text or some way that's not blaring out a coupon code. But you would click this and it would open a modal. If the user gets here and doesn't have a discount code, they could simply click out or they can start inputting the coupon code. So as long as they know the code and it is registered in the database, then a submit button will appear for them to submit the coupon code. Once they've submitted the coupon code, a new screen appears where they can see the original price, note that their coupon was applied, the new price, and then they can pay for the transaction. Let's look in the editor and see how this is set up. From the home screen, I have a list of items with all of their detailed information from the database. On the next screen, the detail of the item, I have the name of the item generated from the database, the image generated from the database, the price generated from the items database, and then the Stripe component. For the coupon code, I've used a button and I just link this to a modal screen. Make sure you set the transition modal. Once this screen opens, this is where it gets a little tricky. I've put an X here, just to note they can click that and link back to the home screen. I've created a input box where they will type in the discount code, a, te a text label of the discount code, and then this submit button. So the submit button, you're actually going to add a button and then make it a list. To do that, you add the component button, and then you're going to use these three to create a list. And that will create a button, uh, make this button a list. You can reduce it so that you're only seeing one of the buttons. And then you're going to select what it is a list of. In this case, it's a list of coupon codes from my database. So you'll see I have created a list of my items and a collection for my coupon codes. In my coupon codes collection, I've got the name of the, the coupon, the percent off, and the total paid, and I've built relationships to the other items. So it looks like this. The total paid isn't really necessary in this specific scenario because based on the item, the total paid is going to be different each time. The key pieces are the name of the coupon code and then the percent off. In this case, I used a percentage. Make sure you use decimals but you could use a dollar amount if that was the case as well. So you could put a $2 off or a coupon code for $10 off. That's fine, you can set that and you would use that in your formula, which I'll show you in a minute. So on this submit button, you've set it to be coupon codes. You want it to be all of the coupon codes. And then you want to make sure you do this filter where that the name of the coupon code is equal to the input. So you noticed that there was no button initially, but the entering a correct corresponding name of a coupon code to a name in the database, if that is equal to, if your input is equal to a name in the database, it will show the button. From then, the button simply updates the coupon code and it's going to update the coupon code to the, the total price paid here. Again, you don't need to have that in this situation because each item is going to be different and you'd probably want to log that total price paid in the um, user's relationship with the item or in the item itself. And then you're going to link to the next screen. You could link it back to the initial home screen and use the home screen to the details and use some visibility rules. But for this example, we're just trying to show you how to set up this coupon code. So once you've linked to this screen, you've kept it all the same. You've simply added in a text here that shows the coupon code name has been applied and then the coupon code total price paid or the price now that the code is applied. And you have added in here that it's applied. From here, you could submit the payment. 
This is the key part where you need to know the percent off or the dollar amount off. So in this case, I've used item price minus the item price times the percent off. That's why I used a decimal. If you're using a dollar value, you could simply say item price minus the dollar value so that it would then reduce that and charge your user only that amount. If you have any questions, let me know.